this video is designed as a brief instruction on how to calibrate the Escort ELF pump. These instructions are also available in the operating manual. Before you begin calibration, check the pump inlet filter for dust. If the filter is heavily loaded, it needs to be replaced. First, turn the pump on and let it reach its flow rate setting. If the pump is not set for 2.5 liters per minute, use the flow rate control buttons to set the pump at 2.5 liters per minute. If you are using the Escort ELF for the MSHA, or Mine Safety and Health Administration's underground coal mine dust sampling program, you will use a setting of 2.0 liters per minute. All other procedures are the same. However, MSHA compliance requires calibration to be performed by a certified MSHA technician, such as Zephon International. Allow the pump to operate for 10 to 15 minutes at 2.5 liters per minute. To check for leaks, temporarily block the pump inlet. The LCD display should be at 0.02 liters per minute or less. If the flow rate does not drop to this rate, check the inlet filter cover for cracks or an incorrect o-ring assembly. Make any necessary maintenance changes. Leave the pump at 2.5 liters per minute and turn the pump off. For our demonstration, we will be using the Zephon Digical 5 as our primary standard calibrator. Connect one end of the tubing to the escort pump, then connect the other end to the primary calibrator. A unique feature to the escort pump is that it doesn't require the sampling media in the calibration train. Turn the pump on. As the pump goes through its self-check sequence and the LED lights illuminate, press and hold the on-off and the run-hold button simultaneously until the display reads CAL. Immediately release both buttons. Failure to release both buttons will turn the pump off. The LCD display will now show CAL, and a countdown sequence will begin from the number 9 to 0. After the countdown, the LCD will alternately display CAL and 2.5 liters per minute. Operate the primary calibrator as directed by the manufacturer's instructions. Obtain at least six readings, which are very close to one another. In this video, we have an average reading of 2.46 liters per minute according to the primary calibrator. Now we will adjust the pump by using the flow rate control buttons. After the pump is set to match the calibrator, turn the pump off. The Escort ELF is now calibrated. Because the Escort ELF has an internal secondary calibration, the pump will only need to be calibrated to a primary standard once a month. Or for coal mine dust sampling, MSHA requires recalibration every 200 hours. When you next turn on the pump, the total operation hours has been reset to zero and is displayed during the initial self-check sequence when the pump is turned on. If you are using a BIOS dry cal or BIOS defender as your primary calibrator, it is necessary to use the isolating flow restrictor. This restrictor is provided with each new Escort ELF pump or can be purchased separately. Failure to use the restrictor can result in a calibration inaccuracy. Place the restrictor in line of the sampling hose between the pump and the sampling media. The calibration procedure from this point is the same as with the Zephon Digical. As with the Digical, take an average of 6 to 7 readings and adjust the Escort ELF flow rate according to your average reading. Any repair work for escort pumps that are to be used in underground coal mining must be performed by an MSHA certified technician. Failure to do this will result in a pump that is non-compliant. Zephon offers a complete and certified repair center. For more information about maintenance and repair of the escort ELF pump, please contact Zephon. Additional escort videos from Zephon International are available on YouTube. For more information, visit us at www.zephon.com.